All right, so as a Canadian, May Long Weekend is the official start of summer for us, and that's usually marked by the first camping trip of the year. And if you couldn't already tell, I love the outdoors. So today, I'm going to show you how to make Korean short ribs and kimchi fried rice, the ultimate camping food. This style of short rib is pretty common these days, and you can find them at most grocery stores. You'll want something about 1.5 to 2 centimeters thick. I like to give them a quick rinse in some cold water since you'll usually find a few bone fragments left over from the cutting process. For the marinade, which is the basis for all Korean barbecue, you'll need a couple large onions roughly chopped, a good thumb-sized piece of ginger, peeled and roughly chopped, and a whole bunch of green onions, also roughly, well you get the idea. Toss everything into a bowl along with a handful of garlic, followed by another handful of garlic. You can use a food processor for this, but a blender works best. Add all of the chopped veg along with a few heaping spoonfuls of gojujang, Korean hot pepper paste, apple juice or a whole apple, mirin, freshly cracked black pepper, soy sauce, brown sugar, and some sesame oil. Cover and puree until nice and smooth. Plastic seal bags work just fine for this, but if you have a vacuum sealer, this is definitely the way to go. Plus, it's just so satisfying to watch. For the fried rice, you'll need some, well, rice, some chopped up bacon, minced garlic and sliced green onions, homemade kimchi, butter, and some eggs. All that's left is to hit the road. The first thing you'll want to do, after staring at this beautiful lake that is, is to get a fire going at least an hour before you plan to cook, since you'll need some time to develop some really hot embers. I brought with me some cast iron, tongs, a spatula, chopsticks, a spoon, a cutting board, and a knife. And I was just about getting everything out and set up when, of course, we'll, um, we'll try this again tomorrow. Much better. As I was saying, once you have some nice embers going, place a large pan over the fire and add a few drizzles of canola oil before adding the bacon. The oil is totally optional, but it does help to speed up the process. Once the bacon has rendered some fat and is just starting to brown, add a good amount of kimchi, juices and all. It was at this point I realized I forgot to bring a rag to hold onto the hot handle with, but I improvised. Continue cooking until the juices have formed a thick sauce, then add the minced garlic, green onion, and cold rice. Give everything a good mix before throwing in an obscene amount of butter. Season with salt and pepper and allow it to cook until it just starts to crisp on the bottom, then set it aside. Slap the short ribs onto the hot grill. Don't worry about removing any of the excess marinade as it's just going to give it that much more flavor. Because this fire is ripping hot, they'll only take about 2-3 to three minutes per side. Once both sides are nicely charred, transfer to a cutting board and allow them to rest. I was going to use the second pan to fry the eggs, but that also meant more dishes for later. So I returned the fried rice to the heat and pushed it to the side. Top the fried rice with the egg, slice the short ribs in between the bones and add them to the pan. Then garnish with the remaining green onion and some toasted sesame seeds. And that's it! Korean short ribs and kimchi fried rice done over a campfire. This was so satisfying that not even the 4.5 billion mosquitoes and black flies could ruin it. I have a few more camping trips planned this summer, so I'll definitely be doing more of these campfire recipes. If there's anything you'd like to see, leave a comment below. And if you like my channel and are interested in supporting it, you can check out my coffee page. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching, and stay awesome.